Let's learn English through Educatoon with Teacher Aya. Let's discuss past tense and past perfect tense. But before we dig into the topic, let us review your past tense and past participle. What is the past tense and past participle of the verb find? Correct. The past tense of find is found, and the past participle of find is also found. How about the verb write? What is its past tense and past participle? The past tense of write is wrote, and the past participle of write is written. What is the past tense and past participle of the verb have? You're right. The past tense of have is had, and the past participle of have is also had. Lastly, what is the past tense and past participle of the verb bite? Great! The past tense of bite is bit, and the past participle of bite is bitten. It is important that we know the past tense and past participle of the verb before we discuss the past tense and past perfect tense. But when do we use past tense? We have to know that past tense or the simple past tense expresses an action that happened and ended in the past. We have two types of verbs, the regular verbs and the irregular verbs. Regular verbs form its past tense by adding D or ED at the end of the base word. Example, talked and played. To form the past tense of the verb talk, we add ED. To form the past tense of the verb play, we also add ED. For irregular verbs, we usually change or retain its spelling. Example, became and set. The past tense of become is became and the past tense of set is also set. They are considered irregular verbs because we form its past tense by changing or retaining its spelling. The simple past tense is signaled by the time indicators in the past. Examples, yesterday, a year ago, last week, and earlier. The action or the event already happened in the past. Now, if we see these words in a sentence, it means that that sentence is in simple past tense. Example of simple past tense is Victoria and Henry visited their grandparents yesterday. Take note that there is the presence of the word yesterday. It means it happened in the past. So our verb should be in the past tense, which is visited. Next, the students submitted their assignments a day ago. A day ago shows that this statement already happened in the past, so we have to use the past tense of the verb submit, which is submitted. Always remember that if a sentence already happened in the past, we have to use the past tense of the verb. For our activity, choose the correct form of the verb. Number one, the mayor blank the classes yesterday. Is it suspend or suspended? Number two, Alden blank 
his missing watch in the car last night. What is the correct form of the verb to be used in the sentence? Found or find? Number three, a year ago, my mom and I blank to Barakai. Is it go or went? Next number, she blank our valedictorian last year. Was or is? And lastly, Carl blank the activities earlier. Should we use the verb send or sent? Past perfect tense narrates past actions and events. A sentence that uses past perfect tense provides two actions in the past wherein the first past action or condition is completed ahead of another past action. It is usually formed using the structures for ordinary form. We follow the format had plus past participle of the verb. For continuous form, we follow the format had been plus verb ing form. Take a look at this example. Pido had washed his hands before he ate his breakfast. In the given example, both actions happened in the past. However, one action took place before another one happened. In this context, the past perfect tense portrays an earlier action before another action happened as portrayed by the simple past tense. There are time expressions used in indicating past perfect tense. The time expressions after, as soon as, the moment that, and until are used before the past perfect tense. Example, after Pido had washed his hands, he ate his breakfast. In this sentence, we use the time expression after. So, it should be followed by the past perfect tense, which is had washed. Another is, Pido ate his breakfast after he had washed his hands. Take note of the placement of the time expression after. It is now placed at the middle of the sentence. But still, it should be followed by the past perfect tense, had washed. The time expressions before, when, and by the time are used before the simple past tense. Example, before Pido ate his breakfast, he had washed his hands. We use the time expression before, so it should be followed by a simple past tense, which is ate. Another example is Pido had washed his hands before he ate his breakfast. The placement of the time expression before is now at the middle of the sentence, but still it should be followed by the simple past tense, which is ate. Always remember that if we use the time expressions after, as soon as, the moment that, and until, it should be followed by the past perfect tense. While before, when, and by the time should be followed by the simple past tense. For your activity, choose the correct past perfect tense of the verb in each of the sentence. Number one, the witness blank before the court adjourned. A had testified, B had testifying, or C had testified. Number two, I went to school after I blank from sickness. A had recovered, B 
B. Have recovered or C. Has recovered? Write your answers in your notebook. Number 3. He blanked the novel before he saw the movie. A. Has read B. Had read or C. Had reading Number 4. By the time I arrived home, he blanked to bed. A. Had went B. Had go or C. Had gone joining today's class. I hope you learned a lot. Have a good day! Do not forget to hit like and subscribe to Teacher Aya Educatun. Thank you!